don't live here, I'm not mix up and drama. It's a good hour. I don't know what they beat me for the truth, that's the truth. I'm telling you something loud and clear. You see that Prime Minister they were up up in dwelling to cartel. Blessed day my people saying so today's video we're gonna talk about ex-police and former sting promoter Isaiah Leng spotted with his friends vibing to vibes cartel music. Also we're gonna talk about Leng's son basically doing a live seeing my people and him speak for alkaline being at this year's staging of Sting, but him also respond to um MC Nofi can Nofi they put out something that says Sting Nofi keep this year. So I'm actually respond to that as well. So may I read the article so you can understand what's going on, is it? Also we're gonna talk about alkaline new rules allegedly might go up against Vibes Cartel December show and some fans are reacting some people feel like say Alkaline have him own crowd say no matter while some people say some other things you understand also we're going to talk about Shiba Sun Enhance exposing a producer leaking his old song and basically giving that song a fake title just to get some views you understand my people also we're going to talk about Sean Kingston and his mother spotted running out of a federal courthouse on Friday because you know Sean Kingston and his mother have that court case going on and stuff like that is it and also we're gonna talk about shorty says her name will always be called all when she is dead yes my people also we're gonna talk about hundreds of persons gather in west Milan to lay entertain a medic to rest and also we're gonna talk about the prime minister of saint vincent being attacked by surprise and this is for hosting vibes cartel in his country the man upset the man say yo him vexed because the prime minister even carry cartel i'm host and all these bugger things so may i play the video and as usual only can't tell more anything but before we're gonna further into the topics my people don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and click the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified when i post a new video all right people the first thing we're gonna talk about is Lengson, which is the now promoter of sting right and basically him did do a video and it's like him address alkaline being at this year's stage in Sting. because the people him want to know that the people him feel like alkaline will definitely bring a strong crowd there so him address it just for a little bit but they mainly address mc nuffy um post basically you know telling them nothing keeps thing this year i must make cartel up this year and stuff like that is it so we could get to this story right away so the article is saying leng response to mc nuffy's suggestion to not keep thing this year Tahir Leng, who is the son of Isaiah Leng, did a live chat on Saturday hours after MC Nuffy posted a lengthy statement online urging the organizers of Sting to not keep the show this year because of Vibes Cartel show which is set for December the 31st. Notably, the live chat was scheduled to take place before MC Nuffy's post. I'm here to clear the air. Leng states with regards to the speculations that Sting will be going up against Vibes Cartel. Nothing like that. We would never pick a war with Cartel. According to Leng, his only concern was the month he chose. He also talked on the controversial article that was put out in the Star as he seeks to dampen the harsh narrative surrounding Sting and Cartel's upcoming show. In the live chat, the young Len detailed that his father, Isaiah Leng, has taken a step back from the show and left him in charge, whence people should not be pointing fingers at his father. According to Leng, the show is still scheduled to go from December the 26th to the 28th to mark the first time the event runs for three days. With regards to MC Nuffy's statements about cancelling the show for 2024, Leng said he expects the outspoken MC to turn up at the show regardless of his comments. I guess he's just fretting because everybody built this narrative that we are going up against Vibes Cartel and we are not going up against Vibes Cartel. Yo, me get him, you know. Me not try to fight out Cartel thing, you know. Earlier in the day, MC Nuffy stated this is the biggest dancehall event I go keep in Jamaica. It's like when Bolt run the record we the Jamaican people want the best for him plus the vloggers them telling a lot of lie and Leng some things they say you are going to do to stop Vibes Cartel show I know it's a lie Leng pull the show this year and give Cartel this December and let it be a Gaza Christmas responding to Nuffy Leng stated Nuffy just feel like say we are going to try to go up against Cartel Leng expressed before stating that business may deal with and he's looking to run a clean and smooth event Leng also outlines that he will be 
attending Vibes Cartel show. Leng was asked about booking Alkaline for the show. He replied, stating that he wouldn't comment on that question at the moment and told supporters to look out for more information on the show in September. Yes, even people, so in my personal opinion, I feel like they might try to get Alkaline or they might try to get him. That's why I'm not too want to give up much information yet. Obviously, you know, and jinx the process, you know, and you know, talk about it before it happened or anything like that. Because it's not like Alkaline is a little common artist and stuff like that. You see, my people. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. And oh, the man said, he want people to stop. You know, go after him father because really and truly, him father. Now, now run it like that. Him father still oversee, obviously, because he's a rookie in the business. But uh, him are the real boss right now, you see it. But you know, Leng still there for guide him and for show him the ropes and all these things. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shati. Shati, Shati, Shati. Now, Shati did up on TikTok lives. See, my people, and it's like she say, yo, people are going to always call her name no matter what. Even when she dead, people are going to dip on her name. You understand? And of course, you don't know why she has said so. Because since recently, ever since Vibes Cartel come out of prison, as a matter of fact, and you know, you might see them do them thing. We see a lot of persons, you know, been going on short a page and saying some stuff. Them even made the woman have a private her page and them thing. They see it. So she kind of understands the look. You don't know how to stop calling me name. I understand that, and really and truly, I hope she understand it because people now stop calling him, <laughs> especially whenever Cartel posts up him, woman, is like them probably are sending it to you, them probably are just, you know, I do things to perplex you. Anyway, my people, let us get to this video so you can hear a shot you have to say, and as usual, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing, because I'm not sure what I'm doing, because I have no reason for eating me, because I'm not sure what I'm doing. I mean, I see people, so what them eat me for? All right, P-Valley. You burnt my gold. I don't know what them eat me for. I could have one. Can't tell me, please, and thanks. I'm in a trouble, people. Only if I hear me not mix up and drama. It's a good hour. I mean, I don't know what them eat me for, but you just the truth. I don't know nobody feel like they eat junk or nothing. Them just say them can't get me down. They cure them at all. Them can't get me down. Them hungry by me stronger. One Tanisha, I'm going to always call. All the way in time, I leave the earth. Tanisha, what a nice tree sun, them. Do that and beat me. Tree nice sun and beat me. Yeah, man, so big up shot is still, is it? And as she say, people never stop calling you, and people never stop say this, people never stop say that. And this is the internet where people don't really care about your feelings. <laughs> anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section, right? Next thing we're going to talk about is a man named Sir Price who is going against the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Ralph Gonsalves. I hope I pronounce him name correct. Anyway, my people, um, Sir Price basically, I say, yo, he should host Vibes Cartel in his country, and he also said the Prime Minister is setting a bad example for what he did, bringing Vibes Cartel in house and all them something. You see, my people. But the thing is, a lot of Jamaicans, them like the Prime Minister St. Vincent. Me even see a comment yesterday where somebody has said, boy, them wish we in a Jamaica did have a Prime Minister like him. <laughs> you understand, my people. And also, it seemed like the people I mean, at St. Vincent love him because our, how much time I think him say win election? I think a five times, something like that. And he's going to win it a six time without Vibes Cartel have anything to do with it. I think something like that I'm reading an article anyway let us get to what sir price officer say and when you can tell me if you don't agree or not in the comment section mm. let me tell you something loud and clear you see that prime minister they were up up in dwelling to cartel is nothing but a piece of and short tail it's not a man of caliber it's not a man of nothing dignity is an empty prime minister because him never get cartel a time for have a self check and himself. You take up cartel, carry him, go to your yard, round table, a dine, an ex convict. It didn't prove that cartel did not kill lizard. Right? Why cartel is on the road is because cartel did not get a fair trial based upon the amount of discrepancy we go on round. In case a chain is as strong as the weakest link. And they had a lot of weak links in cartel case. Give cartel the benefit. Not, that means that cartel was innocent. 
And you, the Prime Minister, now have a self check of yourself. For you say, at least, let me make some time blow off before me facilitate this. You open your door to this. And have him in your place, make this feel like, say, he's okay and whatever happened is okay. Let me tell you something. You see, Uno, a judgment upon Uno. Judgment, but you see, Uno as Prime Minister, what if people life Uno take? What if people life Uno call? Right? So, here what me know. You find it so easy for facilitate cartel. You understand? Cartel did not deem innocent. Alright? Cartel only being excused from the case based upon the discrepancy. You are nothing but a piece of shit and shot tail, Prime Minister. Yo! You couldn't be my Prime Minister. As me say my people, everybody entitled to their own opinions. This is the internet where people are free for talk, is it? Now I say I agree with what I say. I tell you the truth. Because I actually think it was a good thing what the Prime Minister did by, you know, just communicating and connecting with Vibes Cartel. Not only Vibes Cartel, him liar, just, you know, and it kind of seemed like the same Prime Minister there is a people person. Because it's like I go up on him page and him TikTok page and I look how oh, the school kids them love him and just how him stay in general. <laughs> understand more people so and obviously he explained why him actually you know make cartel forward and get for meet him and all of that him talk about it um upon a recent interview with isaac buchanan so i don't know but only can tell me anything about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is alkaline who some persons believe might be going up against vibes cartel show this year you know people and obviously alkaline hasn't said anything like that but the new rules page make a post and it was shared over upon um dear dreams yeah dear dreams right my people new new rules festival when you see the post on the screen only thing them do was put a two eye emoji right <laughs> Them not put nothing else, but that is causing a lot of controversy. Because one thing when it comes to alkaline or even just the vendetta movement, they are an unpredictable set of people. You can't predict them. So when alkaline posts all a picture with a hand, that you just don't know what that means. It could be a song a come out, it could be anything. So you know from them time the people always just kinda you know try to understand when a certain post has been made. Anyway, some people um, in the comment section, I bash Alka. Some people are defending him. You understand? Like, even a comment here, because as I said, people think a new rules are keep in a December, you know, and people think it'll go up against cartel thing. So, one person say, Oh no, in the comment section, I behave like I something this man keep every year. That's a true. Somebody say, I feel like cartel own I got bigger still. And next person say, that's the thing, y'all easy to forget the greatness and impact that Alkaline has been creating with this concert over the years. On oh, no member good now, 2022, when everybody had to put respect upon the man name, at that with oh, no now, oh, no easy to forget. Cartel just got released from jail after so many years. So what do y'all expect? The F, both artists have them crowd and both is great in their own way. So chill, please. Somebody say Alkaline wouldn't dare. Boy, oh boy, somebody say, only way it is bigger than cartel is if people can't afford cartel prices. Somebody say, tell Uno that little youth, that little youth are too nothing. You know. Somebody say, one little emoji of Uno up in our Uno feelings, Uno don't say F. Somebody say, imagine new rules, unruly fest, and cartel concert all on the same night. People, if them three concert they keep, which one you would attend? More on the tell me in the comment section. Alkaline concert, new rules, unruly fest, or cartel concert? Which one you know that go? Mm -hmm. All right, people. Next thing we're going to talk about is Isaiah Leng. You don't know him. As he was spotted with his friends. It kind of seemed like him there had one birthday party or something like that, my people, is it? So, you know, when I'm friend kind of boosts him up. And, you know, of course, a lot of persons are pay attention to the music while playing at the background. And Vibes Cartel music was actually playing. <laughs> you understand? So, let me just run a little clip here. Let me just find it kind of interesting the way the people are going over one little clip on TikTok. Check out this, my people. Yeah, 
yeah man, as me say, you know, I don't really nothing big still, but what well, the people just are talking about with the excitement fan, yet obviously people would be reacting to cartel song a play like them feel like the man in a war with cartel. The man are gonna move and vibe well. People can't play cartel around him. But anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Sean Kingston and his mother, who was spotted running out of a courthouse last Friday, or Friday were gone. You know, of course, them both face some charges in relation to scamming and them type of thing. So them have a big case are going right now, where them are look for at least, I think, are 10 years behind bars, 10 years each. Anyway, this is what the story I say. Sean Kingston and his mother run out of federal court in Fort Lauderdale. Sean John Kingston, best known for his beautiful girl's hit, ran out of federal court on Friday morning in Fort Lauderdale. A driver helped him get into a black Cadillac Escalade. The Jamaican-American artist, born Kishan Anderson, was on probation for trafficking in stolen property when a Miami federal grand jury indicted him and his mother, Janice Turner, for a wire fraud as part of a scheme estimated at $1 million. Turner also ran away from the courthouse after the federal arraignment. She was made making obscene gestures at photojournalists before she got into a Mercedes Maybach S-Class sedan. According to federal prosecutors, the duo was indicted because they unjustly, unjustly enriched themselves by falsely representing that they had executed bank wire or other monetary payment transfers as payment for vehicles, jewelry and other goods. They had been accused of fraud before in 2006. Turner pleaded guilty to bank fraud and served about a year and six months in prison. The new case include Bank of America and First Republic Bank. According to the arrest warrants, the victims of the recent alleged fraud include a Cadillac Escalade dealer. Records show the singer was arrested on May the 23rd during a trip to perform at the Fort Irwin National Training Center in California. Turner was also arrested in May or on May the 23rd during a raid at her home in Southwest Ranches. Their federal arraignment was at 11 a.m. on Friday at 2 e Broward Boulevard. They pleaded not guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud and wire fraud charges, asked for a jury trial, and their defense started the discovery process. Attorney Robert Bob Rosenblatt is representing the musician and his mother. The mother and son duo also has a pending state case in Broward County concerning the same fraud. They are facing charges of conducting an organized scheme to defraud, grand theft, and identity theft. The U.S. Secret Service and the Broward Sheriff Office investigated the cases. So that's what's going on, my people. Sean Kingston and his mother has officially pleaded not guilty in relation to the fraud charges them. You see it? So, I could watch and see what's going to happen. You see it? You know in time, you plead not guilty. Obviously, I go fight the case, which basically, you know, I go if them fail find a guilty and sentence you, it's going to be a bit harder than if you plead guilty and just hurry up and you know, take a sentencing, but I guess they are not guilty is what they are letting the people them know. You understand? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Enhance. See, my people, Enhance goes to boom and my address, a producer who put out a song. Well, not even put out the song yet. I guess it's a preview, or at least not to my knowledge. I don't think the full song is out yet. Right? And the guy, or the producer, I should have said, named the song Spider. And of course, you know, so recently, Enhance said something about the girl named Spider. Right? Um, you know, she's an artist as well as Roger Wilde, girlfriend. So, you know, some people are linked. In answer, say yo, what kind of thing that you're gonna say, Rati and Lele? Because some people obviously would have said, yo, you know, leave Roger Well and him woman alone. You see it. But in answer, say yo, the song at two years ago it do. But on top of that, the only reason why the guy named it Spider um, are because of current affairs. But the song, he must have said some stuff about Ivani. Because you know, at one point, Enhance and Ivani used to be. Yes, people, Ivani and Enhance were an item in case you never know. Anyway, let us get to the video so you can hear what I have to say. And as usual, you can tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Mm -hmm. uh, me who the name of song? Why am the name of song? Spider and then a sing bow Vani that even make a sense. So I'm um, you don't know they do a song long time. I'm um, on sister something I go on now and plus use the name involved now and a name where him know say fuck we did go on from all long and just a try for both theme thing you see me when another try right now 
I work and believe right now. Love to see this sweater drop on dirt for my sleeve. You see me? I do we are doing right now. You see me like? If you if you think about it, cause everybody has sent me the song and I say, yo, eh, if you if you listen to that, listen to Enhance now. Listen to Enhance song them now and listen to that song there, bro. If you hear Enhance song right now, bro, I go way higher than that. You see me? And why Enhance wouldn't sing a song right now? The song I talk about Vani and him title it Spider. That doesn't make sense. So it's obvious say, yo, the song do a long time ago from, from Enhance and I want it. Enough of them thing. Whatever. And current affair I'm right now. And I'm on just put a title with the part I sang there and just send it out. The try was film thing, you see me? Yeah that. But the time I'm gonna do everything. You see me? You see me? First of all, we got the two individual them. Two ladies them. One is a good influencer, one is a very bad artist. You see me? Yeah, that. So people say, do them thing. For just try to fuck up the thing. Think you and fuck up. So yeah. So the tune, for those who don't really know me at all, I wake up, not too long, and I check me. I check my arm. Um, my DM and I see all the people are saying me this song where um the song title Spider and the lyrics of the song um I make a statement about Ivan No that song let me let me say it clear that song was done like two if not two and a half years ago however current affairs are no Based off of my understanding and the producer who did have that song put that song to the title Spider and release part of the song and I guess everybody has seen the song in my DM and I say yo oh, no dog you shouldn't really um that song is a really dear song I never even have no idea so that song I will get released. Is it pretty? Yeah, man. So that's what's going on. And I guess, you know, Enhance have to know so that a part of the game. A lot of time, producers, them, have songs with artists in a zine. And them don't drop the song. Them them keep the song. Them bench it. But you see, when the artist boss, them want to push it out and them something. They forget a little hype and for make some money or fight and all of that. You see, my people. But nothing wrong with that still, enough. But, you know, I just part of the game as some look on it. So the artist named the song Spider. Enhance, obviously, is not supporting the song because he's not going to post it on him Instagram page so you know it, it not gonna really get the big support where the producer would have want and worse in answer talk down upon the song and them thing is it anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is medic who I guess you can say had a good turnout as you know well if people gather to lay the entertainer to rest you yeah, understand my people so let me just get to this story so I understand what's going on alright so it's a hundreds gather in West Milan to lay entertain a medic to rest. Hundreds turn out for the Thanksgiving or for Thanksgiving service in remembrance of the life and legacy of entertainer medic. The service was held at the Church of God on George Street in Savalamar, Savanalamar, West Milan. The body of the 29-year-old medic, given name Stephanie Debbie and Williams, was went missing on August 24, 2023. In February, skeleton remains of the entertainer who grew up in a church and wrote her first song at the age of 10 were found in a cane field in Wallen, St. Catherine. Medic, who was from Westmoreland, has been living in Mayfair, Red Hill, St. Andrew at the time of her untimely passing. Her cremated remains were laid to rest at Hanover's funeral home and West Palm Memorial Gardens in the town. So yes, my people, you see it. People show up and, you know, come pay them respect to the entertainer. Young, young girl, same way, 29, you know, very sad and unfortunate situation. And as you know, the police them say they have suspects, but them not catch nobody yet, you understand? So I hope the police them still make that case a priority so at least the family them can get some justice, same way as it. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.